everybody, it's Bella. Hey, it's Melissa. And we are here um, today to continue our series on dating apps in general. Um, so we're going to start with, um, I'll give you, well, actually, we'll hand it over to Melissa because she's going to talk about the big overall research study, I guess you could say, that we're doing. Um, <laughs> um, but it's actually, it, there's some pretty crazy implications if, if we do all this and it comes out to be um, that we are able to do what we wanted to do as easy as it was. So I'll let Melissa explain it because that I, I did pretty terrible. Am I just so. explaining what I've done so far? Yeah, so um I guess, so I guess the whole the what we're trying to do or what we started joking about is uh you know, oh what if what if we can actually go on and pretend like we're somebody else and then we ran into the verification issue. So that's where Melissa had a brilliant idea that we've kind of just grown from there. <laughs> we started it as kind of like a joke like oh well, funny we're gonna be opposite females and see what it looks like on there but well, then... i think we wanted to do the opposite gender so we'd have both perspectives like what is it like from a dude's perspective because we both have done like at least one app as a female obviously and uh once we started doing that i think i was trying to come up with pictures i'm like okay so i don't want to be like <laughs> weird and lie. I don't want to put some other, I don't want to be like a full catfish and put some other person's picture there. Right. And then they find out it's some weird scenario. I'm like, no, 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 no. The so I just, Google search. Yeah. I took my own face and used AI to make it male <laughs> and then made that the picture. And so that was funny enough, but then it said like verify. So we went through the verification process to see if I could fool it. And I did <laughs> on Tinder. And then, um, I just recently tried again and I fooled it on Hinge as well. And that's where you have to, I don't know if you remember when you did it, but you have to hold the phone up and just like look at it. And it does like a video to yeah. verify that you're you. Sorry, I keep playing. So I just did Tinder. So for Tinder, if you, I, I just wanted to switch my pictures, one of them. And because that was the one that they used to verify. They're like, if you delete this picture, you're going to have to verify all over again. And I was like, okay, upload a new picture. Did the thing where it's like, okay, do a selfie from far away, do a selfie from close up, and then do this, you know, move it as a camera around your head. So that, I mean, this seems like it would cover, it seems pretty like, ooh, fancy or whatever. But Well, I was scared because I'm like, well, I'm going to fail this. Because the first time I did it, I was like, okay, so what would be like kind of like half-assed attempt to try? So I like filled my eyebrows in bushy with like mascara and like just did it first thing in the morning. It looked like crap. I put my hair back. I made sure like you couldn't see that I had earrings and tried to like <laughs> match at least the facial parts. I figured like it's probably using like tech AI technology or something. And um, yeah, so I guess AI fooled itself. Ooh. This is this is the problem. <laughs> That's you ever so seen the Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> Have you? <laughs> well, I mean, this is part of the craziness because they really, I would say, one of the reasons why up until then that I felt safe for going on dating apps is um, because of those verifications. I'm trying to change the light. Well, and interestingly enough, so I guess I started a Hinge profile a while ago and forgot about it. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. I think I had the same um, profile picture that I had on Tinder. And I was like, oh, well, no, I have this funnier, newer AI like version. So I'm like, I'll do like two different looking guys. Right. Um, for science. And uh, <laughs> so when I changed the picture, the same thing you said, it was like, oh, you got to go through verification. And I was like, mm. oh, shit. So I'm like, okay. Um, but I had uh, fake lashes on. I had not like full makeup, but like foundation. Mm -hmm. I had earrings in. I had my normal hair. I think it was like in a ponytail, but you know, like these bangs. <laughs> right. And for Hinge, you just hold it out and it's a video. Like you can't, 
try to like snap a selfie that where you look like a certain angle or whatever. So I'm just yeah. like, here goes nothing. And it verified me. And I was like, oh my God. Oh God. I have makeup on. I have makeup and lashes I'm... on. <laughs> so, so you did it twice. Twice. And the second one, the second time I thought was harder. Like I thought, well, this is, I have a higher chance of failing here. And I right. thought it's going to kick me off. And at least I'll, I could say like, well, this one app kicks you, you know, kick me yeah. off. But no. And you don't, I would also think that the technology should improve. I'm sure they don't, aren't actively trying to improve their 3D face scanning technology for safety. But, um, but that has to be AI technology, right? And what I it, used was AI technology. Like AI technology made my picture from my actual face. That it, could, it was, it di- could it differentiate truth from its fantasy? It creates. I don't know. I guess not. I guess not. So <laughs> like I, I feel bad. Like I feel like I'm giving people ideas. Don't do this. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing, no, and I'm not doing so- anything with it. <laughs> Yeah, we're exposing it. So the next one we'll do is Bumble. I'm going to sign up for Bumble using a mix of both of my profiles. Um, <laughs> so part one, we did actually, like, I would say two parts already um, for Tinder. And then we took a break and then we got back into it. So right now the full, there's a clip and then, or two clips and then the full episode. So two clips. One of them is my profile that we reviewed. Um, and then, uh, and then we did walk through, um, Melissa's and how you were able to do it. Um, so we're going to post um, those, I'm going to either pin them, probably pin them to the top of the YouTube channel, which is a uh, big time fresh is just big time fresh is, uh, the YouTube channel. And then, um, we'll have it there up at the top. And then I think Melissa has a couple of, uh, follow-ups to do on on her tiktok which i put your tiktok on uh, on the homepage of the website because it's so so (laughs) so well um, i think it's i think this is like a kind of like an accidental expose because mm -hmm. when i was going because i didn't go on there for real like you kind of have on and off but i went on there to do this guy thing but it kept coming up saying like don't you want to verify all your pictures don't only you know, and like safety tips would come up on mm-hmm. on, t- on a Tinder. The one, the first one that failed, like make sure that the person's verified if you're going to go on an in person date. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> every but all of them should have should now be like trying to find a way to combat that because now it's so easy. Like, I mean, honestly, I think you need real people course. eyes on it. I don't know. Yeah. Because I think AI and these other apps are so good. Like, like we, we did video. you as a male. We did both of us as men, and we were cracking up. Like, I, they're so scary, and like, I'm I look very... like my brother, which makes sense. But <laughs> I do too. But like a really femme version. <laughs> yeah. If he was gay femme, that would be what that, like. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, I know. I think some of this has been done online. For for all I know, we did this. We started this on our own, kind of an accident. So um, our findings are, are the property of our research. So don't fucking go and take what we did and start from there. Um, okay, so that's that part. Um, the last episode that we did together, one of the profiles just. I don't know what happened. We were giggly. There goes my sticker. We were giggly and we couldn't stop laughing at this mullet dog um, that somebody had as one of their profile pictures. That's why it was funny because it was a profile picture because it was like him playing basketball, him sitting with a martini glass in his crotch where the glass looked huge. And then like this dog pops up and it's like, (laughs) why would you do that? (laughs) Like, yeah, it didn't Does that represent you as a human? (laughs) Because this it was my like, vibe. <laughs> you know, he had one of those like, uh, I go to the club vibes, and you know, like all, like all of them up until then were like a legit profile, right? Like he was like trying to look cool, clearly, yeah. And then that, I, <laughs> so it, I, it was just so out of place that it just yeah. like, it just uh, tickled my funny. Here we go. Woo. All right. Are we are we just reviewing these or is this a game? 
Nope, just reviewing. Okay. Um, I separated them by theme. theme. Or we can jump straight to the voice prompts because these ones are pretty tricky. Um, so here, look, here's here are the categories for the bios. They are all from Tinder because they have the they're you're able to type out like an actual bio. Um, yeah. So the ones that I found, I separated into groups. One group is called Don't Be Negative. The, another one's called Yikes. I can't wait for that one. Oh, say what? Uh, That's say what? Say what? Booty call. Uh, cringe. I got it. Almost story. had me. <laughs> I mean, they got that one line. They got oh. that one line. We're like, what the yeah, hell? Is like, it? oh. Uh, try hards, gold star, which is like good job, needs improvement, which is like almost good job. Okay, <laughs> taken but available. So, those are like, oh, open marriage. Oh, uh, yeah. is this a simp or romantic? Um, quirky. So, I put the, the like more exciting ones at the beginning, and then I have these the voice prompts. One of them I sent you to where we're like, oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> um, so, where would you like to start? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, just <laughs> at the top, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Make it big right? for me, Ma. <laughs> Arctic fifty four. If you want to know something, just ask. I'm very open minded and non judgmental. Is anyone on here real? Why take the time to match with someone and not take the time to communicate afterwards? Can we talk, meet, hang out, and do things as friends first and then see where things go? All I ask is for a good conversation and you keep your word. I'm very outdoorsy. Hike, camp, bike, travel, RV, backpack, off-grid, hunt, all water sports, climbing, rappelling, survival, jeep, on and on. Come join me. This man has been hurt. <laughs> RJ, he's come probably, in, come in how, for a hug. Yeah, he, he's been burned on here, and he's just like, "Fuck y'all." Yeah. By the way, I like surfing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Tom this, Clancy books. <laughs> Fifty-four. So I could see his frustration. He definitely came up in a different era, dating. Um, yeah, like face to face mostly, yeah. even if it was dangerous and weird. And and maybe he's talking to younger girls, probably not, you know, not like younger women, because I would imagine those are the ones who are going to be uh, ghosting and doing this kind of stuff. Um, so the answer to your question is, yes, uh, uh, there are real people on here. Um, good question on why take the time to match with somebody and not take the, co the time to communicate afterwards. Um, one thing I could say is the reason is that. People don't go down there enough, but that's not a reason to not get back to somebody after you match with them. So I, I understand the frustration noted. Um, to put it in a bio, though, like I feel like this is <laughs> this is well, no screaming out. Somebody hurt me, <laughs> and we all know this, right? I mean, like some of the side, the like, are you real or not real? It's like calm down, and I that's guess... the opener. I guess when like when when I wrote my own bio like a bajillion years ago, I didn't put like my complaints about how the app worked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So like you're not reporting on the app or you're not reporting on modern dating, okay? You're just like talking about yourself so they could read your bio and know. So this what this tells me about you is that you're fucking annoying. Like I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Because you know, I feel like we go on a date and you would bring up your ex-girlfriend the whole time and yeah. everything wrong they did. That's a good point. Yeah. So that's the vibe you're giving me from this. It's like everybody sucks. Everybody who wants I've to I've had talk so to me. many bad dates. Want to hear about them all? No, I don't. <laughs> the other thing is it could be him. <laughs> Maybe he says something really creepy and they bounce. So Maybe he's negative. <laughs> No one likes a negative Nelly. <laughs> this guy's 34, Jay. Whenever somebody doesn't put their full name, that's also where I'm like, mm. Yeah. If you're on Tinder, you own it. Um, because now you look like a creepo. Especially where well, it goes. And then it says his name anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, God. Okay. So they make me feel like a private eye. <laughs> we did it. My name's... There's no apostrophe. My name's Josh, and welcome to my page. Dating with some intention behind that shit. Public meet, food and vibes, and see what happens. Don't ask me about my tattoos. It's annoying. So my thing here is, like, aren't, don't you get tattoos in a way to show them off? But you just don't want people to ask about them? I mean, if somebody... Hmm. There's, like, tattoo etiquette, I guess, oh, I would say. Okay. Asking someone if something means something is one thing, and I don't think you should really say that's annoying because that's how people get to know each other. Right. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, what's... Uh, it's, like, a really good, like, it's lead a good into icebreaker. A yeah, icebreaker. It's, like, if someone is wearing a jacket and they have, like, a patch on it that has a band name and you really like that band or you don't, but you ask them, like, what do you... Oh, you like that band? Have you ever seen them? Mm -hmm. And they're, like, that's annoying. Don't ask me about my patches. <laughs> Why right. are you wearing it then? So, right. like, I have tattoos and, you know, don't touch it. Yeah. That's no, no touching ever. Well, you know, like pulling pulling your clothes off to like read something. Ugh. I'm like, okay, I'll just tell you what it says. You're being weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's this also gives me very negative vibes. Like the same yeah. sort of thing. Like the beginning isn't terrible. That's fine. Yeah. You want to like chill, talk. That's cool. Yeah. But right. that last line makes him sound like an ass. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense. But. Like that, what do that you statement expect? is annoying. Yeah. Don't ask me about my tattoos are annoying. Well, you're annoying. He's probably just covered in tattoos. So that would be a lot to explain. Maybe he should have thought about that before <laughs> he got them. <laughs> or he could like. say something cute like, you know, um, you could ask me about like one tattoo per date. Oh, see, that's really good. See, you can yeah. spin things so they're not like shitty. But I don't want to talk about my tattoos. <laughs> Don't or, ask me about this thing that's clearly a passion of mine. All right? Ask me about my tattoos. Turn it around. Right. Is it annoying or do you want to get fucked? I mean, it's like, <laughs> those are your two <laughs> options here. Because you're eliminating, like, a lot of girls by having that negative ass shit in there. So, that's on you, bro. All right. Uh, does this have an age? No age. Interesting. That is but an verified. option. But verified? But verified. Verified. Very verified. <laughs> so fine. You're allowed to hide your age if you subscribe to the Tinder Gold. Because oh, of course. I have that and I could not put my name. But regardless of w women or men, that's sh shady as F. Because that's like one of the top. You like, you look at their age first. And well, like, you why can. Why would you. Why would you want to conceal something that affects if people choose you or not? Like, okay, cool. So they're going to like match with you and you could say some gross stuff to her. But like, what if she won't like, if she goes out on a date with you and she's like, why were your pictures from 30 years ago? Yeah. Then that feels bad, right? Why would you want to put yourself in that position to be like, so you know how I look like a hot bag of trash now? Because <laughs> all my pictures were yeah. me from high school. But like, <laughs> why wouldn't you put... Women, maybe, but still, you're going to have to disclose that at some point, you know? I think women should put their age, too. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Okay, this is John. Um, he goes, changing it up because I have no idea what women want. Sorry. Changing it up because I have no idea what women want these, women these <laughs> days want. God that was very, damn it. That hurt my brain. <laughs> the UG one. Love me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna read it how it's supposed to be, and then I'll. The young then, ones love me. The one. Mo oh, I just said this. Changing it up because I have no idea what women these days want. The young ones love me. The ones my age are either too stuck up or just not into a real man that handles his business. I've lived life to the fullest as long as I can remember with no regrets. I have two children, three and 16, so old enough to drive me around. <laughs> I party, chill. I have access to all kinds of concerts, and I like the beach. I'll beat you off. 
Mm. It caught me off guard. I'll beat you off so hard. Oh, that's also from Barbie movie. Take a chance and let's do stupid shit together. I'm super fun. He's enough, so he might be fun. <laughs> this one we'll just do real quick because it's like, Jesus Christ. Um, this one's 30. He goes like this. I deeply value my peace as well as my privacy. So I'm simply looking to pull up every one to three weeks. Respectfully. No, you can't be my dog. No, I don't want to take you out for sushi. No, I don't have Snapchat. Nor do I want to frequently text. I mean, just hire uh, someone who does that for a profession. And they can, every one to three weeks, you can put that up. <laughs> Schedule an appointment. Yeah, exactly. Make a standing appointment every exactly third Wednesday or something. And, and pay for it like a peaceful man does. <laughs> because peace. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one now? These are the ones where like, what the fuck? Wait, what did I call it? Yikes. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yikes. He's 45. I am what I made of myself after me, and life has done its worst. Zero. Oh, OG. God, I'm my brain that is hurt. breaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Help. I am what I've made of myself after me, and life have done its worst. OG mentality. Old school state. Respect, honesty, and loyalty go far. If you ask what I'm on here for, I'll say I'm trying to find out what my dick looks like in your mouth. This is a dating app. Be smarter than that. Open minded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that's true, unfortunately, but. Must love dogs. It's small writing at the bottom. It's so weird. <laughs> Just get to if you uh if you ask why I'm on here, I'll say I'm trying to find out what my d looks like in your mouth. This is a dating app, be smarter than that. I Don't hate tell me that. what to do. That's talking down to yeah. strangers that you've never even met. Like, ew. It's the be smarter than that one. Yeah. That you part ruined all of I it. I don't like. <laughs> yes. Be smarter than that. Because I could imagine him talking to me on a date like that and I'd be mm -hmm. like, mm -mm, bye. Bye. I'm leaving. Instant bye. Yeah. Um, okay. And then he goes, open-minded and intelligent. Normally bonus <laughs> points for disc golf players. That's so random. <laughs> yeah. Unpopular opinion. Every right swipe is a subconscious admission to yourself that you would smash. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Unpop. It's not unpopular. It's, it's, it's so popular the... we don't even talk about it because it's like yeah. A it's well obvious. Known. Yeah. The dick in your mouth thing, that's an interesting take. All right, this guy's 50. <laughs> Let's keep this a book. Okay, so this is how you know he's 50 because I don't even know what I that means. I don't know what that means. means. I was like. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's keep this a book. The odds are not in our favor. I'm not Prince Charming, nor am I about the bullshit. I don't live my life by society's rules as to how a man should be. I'm free and will live my life as such. It's mines. I hate that. I, hate I know. Mines. That's why. Why? If you're not on nothing, then it'll be nothing. If you want to get my attention, then conduct yourself as such. I'm attracted to women who know who they are and what they want and aren't afraid to speak on it. No one is a mind reader. This could have been in the negative section. Right. But it, but it is a yikes. It is a yikes. Just the, the first little part there. The odds are not in our favor. Why? Why? You're already there. Right. Even if everything right. works out, we're going to get a divorce. <clears throat> All right. Dang oh it. God. How old is this guy? <laughs> I'm already cringing. I'm going to be honest here. I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm looking for someone who is not put together. Wait. Okay, hold on. I'm going to be honest here. I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm looking for some who is not put together. I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and a job. That don't impress me. Loyalty, oh. honesty, and trust. 
Understanding and kindness impresses me. Your talents and your passion is interesting. You, integrity, all these things is what I'm looking for. Punctuation impresses <laughs> me. <laughs> Punctuation. <laughs> it lets me know when to breathe. <laughs> Spelling. Um, Punctuation. Grammar. <laughs> Spelling. Punctuation. So, Okay, so if he, if he said, like, I don't like snotty, stuck-up bitches, that would be one thing. But he's like, I don't like people who are put together, like, have a job, or have a car, or have a home. Like, the things he listed are, like, basic fundamentals say, of being an adult person. <laughs> you probably want that person, if they like, were a female, a to nice have house, a, a nice car, a nice, like... Things that show you have a lot of money. Yeah, like, I'm not a materialistic person, so I would get behind that. But this is like, you think I'm going to like you because you've got a car? <laughs> that's, that's screaming to me that you don't have those things. <laughs> that, and also, somebody who had those things, like, rejected him or something. He, doesn't, he probably doesn't have those. He's very, like, I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and a job and whatever. That doesn't impress me. It should, to some well, it degree. it also says, don't be put together. So you want, like, a hot mess that's got nothing. Maybe a drug problem. Interesting. I didn't even see that. Because or... mm-hmm. it's hard to read that part. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> My brain fixes it. it. <laughs> I'm looking for some who is not put together. And I don't like the women who think, whoa, okay. Yeah. So he, he wants, wants you to be a, kind of a loser, yeah. <laughs> so he's so he wants in. a toxic, crazy bitch. Okay. I'm looking for some who is not put together. I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and job and whatever that don't impress me. Okay. Yikes. Not off to a good start. It's all about your pleasure. I love being a good boy and taking care of your needs. Soft hands, soft lips, and good stamina. Big time into pleasing my partner. Massage, kissing, foreplay, oral servant, and nursing. ANR. I like to be told what to do and disciplined occasionally. Only looking for one woman to shower with affection long term play. Now, <laughs> what the fuck is nursing ANR? Nursing as in breastfeeding? Mm-hmm. I know. A&R, what did that stand for again? Adult nursing two. something? Let's see. It's not the Alliance for Nonprofit Resources? I don't think so. No, okay. Um, A&R, nursing. Um, I, I'm on my private bar on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> adult nursing relationship. Oh, relationship. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. But this isn't really nursing, right? Because, I mean, it's... Okay, here, I'm looking um, at Reddit. Um, it says, have you ever had an adult breastfeeding relationship? Answer, yes. I'm 46 with a 29-year-old boyfriend. We were both laid off in the pandemic. I moved in with him right after that. Um, we were watching porn and a woman was lactating. It got him very excited and that's all he talked about. Then he looked up how to lactate and begged me to. He brought me some all natural supplements and a breast pump. I have adult kids. I started lactating in three weeks. I pumped three times a day and he nursed three times a day. Within three months, I was producing eight ounces a day and it hurt for the first few months. You're going to have to make a schedule or it will set it. He nurses from me every morning at 7 a.m. Oh, this is so gross. I pump him at noon. He nurses again at 5.30 when he gets home and again at 10 p.m. Sometimes he doesn't get home till 6. Okay, all right. All right. You get it. I have to just... I get um, 46 and 46-year-old woman and 29-year-old male. That's a... That's a that's no that's a no for me dog i would say this much okay i can i whatever i can get why someone would be that would turn them on on the guy end Mm -hmm. as a Mm -hmm. woman though if we were gonna role play like you were doing that once in a while okay if i gotta change things hormonally within my body so that i start producing milk which is very abnormal 
That seems it's so an- unhealthy. I feel like that's how you get breast cancer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it's so gr- actually, you know, everybody has their their thing, but that whole toxic boy mom thing that I'm like, ooh, yes, that needs ew. to. I want to. I think we should l- look into eventually. Punctuation, don't you, don't grammar, you only match with the people who you swipe on. That's what I thought too, but I'm able with gold with Tinder Gold. You can see all the people who slept. So who for, like you, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a you just go through and you're like, oh, these people are like, so if I choose any of these, and they're gonna say yes. So it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit, but it yeah. also doesn't because for girls, I think you get to if see you all match these. with someone. <laughs> yeah, if you match with someone, you have to be prepared to engage. <clears throat> True. The other way around, I don't think so. Okay, here's the next one. Chak. I guess. He's 29. (laughs) I think that's his name, Chak. Dino Nuggies are only for good girls. 24 plus. I'm from the 1900s. My time is valuable. I don't have much left. 40 plus. Heart eyes. Let me build you a coffee table. Emotionally available is closed for the season. 1.82 meters. In parentheses, six feet. I will not buy your OnlyFans, but I respect the hustle. Se habla español. That's a lot. That is a whole lot. Dino nuggies are only for good girls. That's That's where I'm... Such a weird thing to say. Stuck. (laughs) If somebody Um, said that to my face, trying to be cute or funny or whatever intention, I would laugh very hard and then I would excuse myself. (laughs) He's probably going home to nurse. <laughs> From his actual mom. <laughs> Feed me. I don't have much time left. I want some dino nookie. <laughs> Are you a good girl? Ew. Okay. Chucky want milky. Chucky <laughs> <laughs> want milky, mommy. <laughs> Ew. <sighs> Okay, no fat girls. All right, Road Dog, 45 <laughs> years old, <laughs> matches. Looking for a neglected housewife to eat all night, then run nothing more, nothing less. Wait, hold on. See, punctuation, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Looking for a neglected housewife to eat all night, then run nothing more, nothing less. So he just wants to eat and run. That's eat and run. No. <laughs> sorry. Sorry to eat and run. Sorry. <laughs> so you don't want to meet my dog? <laughs> dog sleeps right here. His name is Chico. Okay. We're just going to go down the line. Let me see if I can, if there's a good one to start with. Let's start with this one. All right. A random fact I love. So back when colored television came out, uh, a cooking show ended up at a Chinese restaurant and asked the chef to prepare something colorful. And so he did a spicy, garlicky chicken dish with lots of vegetables, and he called it General So's Chicken. After that episode aired, everybody and their mother was, like, calling their local Chinese restaurants going, hey, we want the chicken dish from the TV show. And that is where General So's chicken comes from. Yeah! <laughs> like, yeah! The more you know! <laughs> the enthusiasm is off the charts. And the co- I, I, there's confidence coming through. And it's a fun, I mean, he did a good job, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Mission accomplished. Um, and then let's do this one. Uh, a dream home must include, this is the one it's supposed to be, I triple checked. Okay. <laughs> good morning, Christina. I'm Ray. And I would like to meet you and help you with your shooting posture, which (laughs) needs some attention. And I have a log home. I overlook a lake, but I don't have a flower garden and I don't have a veggie garden. Not this year. 
What? Not this year. Not have this a year. Nice Christmas. So that so, was, am I high? What just that, happened? What? Well, so that was real. Christina. That was for Christina around Christmas time, I guess. And so actually, I felt bad. Like, what? You remember the episode of Friends where she puts an out, or Monica puts an outgoing message on on Richard's voicemail? Yes. I yes. feel like. This might be a scenario. Like he thought he was sending it just to her. How do I fix it? How do I fix it? (laughs) And he just like never logged back in again. (laughs) And also this guy, he's scrolling through here and he's like, look at her dang fish, her, her, uh, (laughs) shooting posture. (laughs) Look at her shooting posture. I just got to talk to this girl, Christina, wish her Merry Christmas and tell her I can fix that, fix that shooting posture. How? I just, I just. I'm just struggling with how he got to the voice prompts to miss Right, that's message kind of somebody. advanced. So if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, probably either that or he's there. like super psycho. But then he would have to know that he's going to match with her eventually, or like come, ac- she would come across his profile. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna err on the side of please let it be the fact that he's like, he just doesn't know how to use it, but. <laughs> <laughs> um well you can send the voice prompt things to profiles though to people right oh you can oh okay. somebody yeah somebody sent it to my fake man that's how i know oh well, i think well. i sent it to you so you could hear what kind of uh shit that makes I sense i should i should name that guy like chode <laughs> c-h-o-d-e why <laughs> like it's <laughs> Chody. Like instead of Chad. <laughs> Chode. Chody, like Brody. Or yeah, Cody, Chody, Brody. Yeah, yeah. Chody. All right. Get it's someone. Ethnic. Huh? I'll just oh. say it's ethnic and they can't say shit. Oh yeah. It's an ethnic. Where's it from? Are you are you racist? Are you calling me? <laughs> Get someone who looks at you like Someone who looks at me like a hyena over a two-week-old gazelle carcass. Ew. I would run away. I would exit out. I would say no way so fast. (laughs) Don't say rotting. Did you say rotting carcass? Someone who looks at me like a hyena over a two-week-old gazelle carcass. Two week old, so yeah, so yeah, it's, it's a- definitely in de- decent decomp by then. Ugh. Ew. I am a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> and probably most of the women that are listening are like, Have you eaten eat me? Carcass? Ugh. Okay. That word um, is gross. Let's do this lovely one. Oh, um, an, oh. an overshare. An overshare. I can't wait. Um, and an overshare. An overshare would be, uh, I really enjoy, uh, eating eating pussy. Like I really enjoy it. Uh, probably a TMI, but I actually do really enjoy that. And um, maybe that's something you should know. Do you All think right? he enjoys eating pussy? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I that. <laughs> okay, like the. But- the thing that's most um, off-putting about that is that he's talking in this like little little voice. Yeah. Like, well, actually, I mean, well, <laughs> actually, eating pussy. <laughs> he says it, was it like, so many times. I uh, guess an, an overshare. An overshare would be. Uh, I really enjoy uh, eating Ooh. eating. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, I really enjoy probably it. Probably a TMI, but I actually do really enjoy that, <laughs> and. Um, do you Maybe enjoy it, sir? No. Over time. Right. Well, now we know. In 20 and I will, it will be burned into my brain forever. Oh, uh, yeah. I, re- I screen recorded this. Green flags I look for. High sex drive. How can you look for... I... You can't look for a sex drive, sir. <clears throat> they don't work like that. Um, This one... There's two more left. Um, I know which one. Okay, so this one says, don't judge me. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't judge me, but yeah, I have some interesting life stories. And 
we're not done. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> If this guy's not getting anything, it's because of this. Yeah. We're not done yet. If he didn't laugh Just... at the end, I feel like it would be a little bit better. Don't judge me, but yeah, I have some interesting life stories. I bet you do, sir. And we're not done. <laughs> we're not done? <laughs> we're not that's and and then he chloroforms you, and then you wake up in a bathtub, hogtied. In like, the basement. that's what I'm. That's what yeah. I'm seeing in my head. That's what I'm envisioning. And then, like later, you'll find out it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm -mm. that was Pass. It's a hard Ooh. pass for me. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I have a really, I have a dark, morbid sense of humor, but I'm like, mm, no. That's what I was like. Ugh. Don't soon. judge me, but. Yeah, I have some interesting life stories, and we're not done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just... So, don't judge you based on the fact that you have life stories? We all have life sure. stories, bro. Yeah. This one, I, oh, this last one, a friend's review of me. Welcome to the introductory course of Nabil. Number one con, as I'm sure you've noticed, is his height. However, if you look past that, it is all pros from there on out. He is funny, outgoing, and willing to be as weird as you are. And I hope that you are weird because he most definitely is. But it's a pro. If you think that's a con, please skedaddle to the left. Thank you. Okay, so this is a uh, one. Uh, let's break this one down a little bit because it's different. Uh, well, he wrote it and gave it to her and she read it. Oh, you think so? I was yes. thinking the opposite. Nope. His, it would, if she was reading it and it was written by her, then it would be in her own voice and she would sound more natural. She does a pretty good job, but there are parts where she like stumbles a little. And if you wrote it yourself. Um, That's a I good think, point. I think you would know like where the At least emphasis the is on, yeah. on the sil on syllable. Welcome to the introductory course of Nabil. Number one con, as I'm sure you've noticed, is his height. However, if you look past that, it is all saying. pros from there on out. He is funny, outgoing, and willing to be as weird as you are. You're right, right and here. And I hope that you are weird because... As here, you are. Oh, I hear paper. But it's a pro if you think that's a con. Most definitely is. But it's a pro if you think that's a con. Right. To be as weird <laughs> as you are. And I hope that you are weird because he most yeah. definitely is. But it's a pro. If you think that's a con, please skedaddle to the left. Thank you. Interesting. So what do you think about the, the fact that he has a friend, um, that he has a friend to actually give the review? That's a um, girl. I think that women are more likely to do that. Okay. I think women are pretty good, like wingmen, if you're like actually in a platonic friendship. Oh, yeah. Because I've done that. like. You know, I don't know I if think, I would read this thing because that's a little goofy. Yeah, but a little try hard on things, but a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably as his sister. Can you read this for me, please? Well, so I was going to say, do you think it's his sister? Do you think it's I his think, sister uh, or his cousin or his <laughs> sister sister mom? I want these girls to think. But you're right, though, because if it if it were another woman recommending or even doing this, like I would definitely feel a lot safer than if somebody did their own or if their buddy did it or whatever because i i trust that a woman does not intentionally would want another woman to be you know yeah. whatever on the date with her friend so well, it's like if you have if you see a guy and you have a mutual female friend you know that you could like kind of dig around there and find out like mm -hmm. would you go out with them is he like cool have you ever hung out with him like in a group is he yeah creepy i think <laughs> it's true hey is he a bear or a man in the grapes yeah. and you know all that stuff <clears throat> but that's that's a good point i think um women are really good wing men i know but what else it's called <laughs> no that was <laughs> Wing Femin people. We're feminists. Confusing. We're feminists. I'm a wing person. 
saying. Um, that's my. I think we should cover the topic of pl- platonic friendships um, because I, I I had recent experience with that as well. But um, and my take was very different than the other person's. But um, I think it's cute. Yeah, I could see I don't women getting it. jealous. Well, you'd weed them out real fast because if he does have a lot of platonic female friends and someone listens to that and is like, mm mm, then they shouldn't go out with them. So, so yeah, you're right. So, those type the of t- people, oh, you have a friend that's a girl, Lily, you might find a black girl. Blah, blah, blah. No, yeah, sometimes it's fine. Um, a lot of times <laughs> it could be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, those were those. <laughs> those were those. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, that'll do it for today. Check out the video version, or if you're watching the video, check out the podcast version. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess for now, I will just say bye. <laughs> bye.